Okay, so I have a cutscene, as you can see, on Stardew Valley. It says, Nicholas, I have this crazy idea, crazy new idea that I want to involve you in. It's called Clothing Therapy. Please come to the mayor's house today to see what it's all about, Emily. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the mayor's house right now. Oh, I have another, ooh, 500 bucks. Oh, I have another mail. Yeah, the fair, okay. So let's go. I just got another, um, I've been giving everybody beer. Like when I see them, like I just give them beer because that's pretty much a generic thing that everybody likes except for Sebastian, Penny, and the kids. But I did find out from a Star, this is going to sound so stupid, but a Stardew Valley Facebook group I'm in that the kids like the flowers that you can get from like the fields. Like the daffodils and the sweet peas and stuff. So I've just been finding those and giving those to the kids. Okay, so I have to come back at 8.30. So I've just been finding those and giving those to the kids because they're like the easiest thing to get. Especially because like I feel like some of the characters, like... Why do I need to like work really hard on being their friend when there's like no benefits to it? Like you can't marry them, you can't... You know what I mean? Yeah. Other than... Other than um, completing an achievement, there's really not a whole lot. The only other thing that would help you is if you're trying to get the grandpa's blessing. Which we've already which gotten. We've already gotten, so. Yeah. Aside from that, there's really no other. Yeah, there's really not another reason to do it. So, I've just kind of been like giving, giving stuff to the adults. Because I want to get to a certain number of hearts with everybody so I can complete achievements, obviously. But I'm not like, you know, like hardcore like I was, like trying to date anybody or... Although I'm thinking of eventually divorcing Harvey and making the kids turn into doves so I can start and marry somebody else. But we'll see. Or I may just start... I don't know, I don't really want to start another farm and start all over. You know? Yeah, I think that's part of why people do that. People don't start over, they just... Uh... You just... But the thing is, is then you gotta work your way back up with Harvey because he ends up hating you because you divorced him. It's a whole thing. So let's go over to the mayor's house. Here's a cutscene. Welcome to clothing therapy. You're probably wondering, what is clothing therapy? I'll try to explain it. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to see that everyone has a free and happy life. So I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool. Did you know that? Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options to choose from. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're first. Ah, Nicholas, you're just in time to observe and keep an open mind, okay? Oh. Wow. Shane, it's a new side of you we've never known about. That's great. Now, go outside with confidence and show the world. Okay, everyone gets a turn. Oh god, I can't wait to see this. Oh, wow. I like this cutscene, it's cute. Oh my goodness. What's going on? It's all the characters go in and they come out in a different outfit. You're missing it. 
Let's see what Abigail comes out in. Night. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. I'm sweating in here. Is Clint gonna go in? Oh God, here we go. Clint's gonna go in, and he was very nervous. I love this game because it really sucks you in. I guess it's supposed to reveal your. Tr oh. Hawaii. Yeah, I guess. It's like a weird pink. The pink shorts are a lot, but. My turn. I don't get to go in. <laughs> I don't have any idea what just happened, but okay. How many, how many hearts am I out with Emily? Oh. I'm at eight. Oh. So that was like where Clint comes in and he's like, I guess you're a better man than me. You know, like, yeah. poor Clint. Okay, anyway. Anyway, you guys, that was the cutscene for Emily for Eight Hearts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.